What's up guys, Scotty here from the Blue Coconut Family and welcome back to another tutorial video. Now before you start saying, oh Scotty you're in a different world, I know. That's because the mod I wanted to talk to today, and the part of the mod I wanted to talk to today, required a more normal world rather than a foot world. So, um, I've come to another village on a normal world, and it's not flat, you may notice, because there's hills. Um, but we're going to be looking at the digital miner today. So, uh, there's a lot of uh, configurations in this thing. I'm not going to go into massive depths, I'm just going to show you quickly how to set it up and to mine stuff. Okay? So. This is a part of mechanism, and it is a very end game thing. So I'll quickly show you the recipe to show you it's expensive. So it requires two atomic cores. Um, two atomic cores are just done with their thing. It requires a robot, requires another atomic core. But it also requires teleportation cores, which require another atomic core each. Inside an atomic core, it requires two obsidian dust and two osmium dusts, and also a diamond. So it's very expensive, guys. So it's a very end game thing, but it's something I would re highly recommend you're working towards. So, once you've got that placed, um, it also has the shift to show you uh, if it has any upgrades or things like that. But you can also go shift M to show you a bit of description which comes off the page, um, which is helpful. Uh, but you place it down, it only it requires an input and an output. So the input being power and the output being the items. Now these can be from any side, technically you can put it on the front. Um, you can see kind of like the outline of the uh, device here but there are two like little black holes on it so just for simplicity I'm going to place the power on the top by if you uh, press shift while you're placing the item um, you don't right click on the thing but you guys should know that I'm just showing you that so once you place that down you should see that the power is now full like that lovely job and also let's start placing the items out the back out into a chest. Now this can be any type of pipes, any type of system. So if you have a um, applied energistics uh, computer system, it can be linked straight to that and it will have no issue going straight into that. Um, I'm just using buildcraft pipes, you can use uh, project red pipes, you can use the actual mechanism pipes, up to you. So if we look into this, it has a four buttons down the bottom corner. I know what three of them do. Um, so the reset, quite obviously resets the device. If this has to be reset, uh, if you start the machine you want to stop it, if you want to reconfigure it you have to reset it before you can configure it again. So the auto eject is very simple, so it automatically ejects any blocks that it has in its inventory down here into a pipe that is connected. The auto pull is the one I'm not entirely sure. So uh, I'm a bit confused on why it would need to pull in blocks. Um, or things like that. If you know, please place them in the comment section below because of course I'm learning to. I'm just telling you guys the stuff I know so I get you guys set up quicker. The last one is silk cut. Silk, silk touch. There we go. Not, words are muddled. Um, but yeah, silk touch, we all know what the silk touch pickaxe does. That allows you to mine blocks. There are ore blocks as ore blocks. So for example, if it comes across um, coal ore, it'll mine up the coal ore block rather than the coal item dust coal um, so that this machine allows you to do that as well and it doesn't require any additional stuff like you do with a pickaxe like you have to enchant it no so the next things to do is um, you have a look around here so you can place in the normal mechanism upgrades of speed and energy uh, you also have the is it controlled by redstone nice so for example if you want if you have multiple of these set up and you want the lever to switch them all on you can indeed you'll set that to high or low or however if you want to just have it a standalone set it to disabled lots of people get caught out by that and they're not entirely sure why it's not working the other one is the um, energy so it shows you that it doesn't need anything at the moment because it's off but it is using 80 RF per tick um, but that's only because it's filling up the uh, bar of four thousand RF. Okay, so next stop, next stop, if you press start it will do nothing. You can see that the config button's gone, so you can press reset. Like that, so like I said earlier. But so you need to configure it before it will do anything. So let's go config. Now on the left hand side you see the filters and also the um, stuff here. So the filters up here you don't really need to worry too much about. This talks about the all dictionary and the item stack and stuff like that. So and that's these buttons down here. So, it has a radius of 10 
that is um, chunks and it has a minimum mind uh, a minimum height and a maximum depth and also the inverse is off so if you want it to be the opposite sure um, but and you got item stack so if let's say you've already put you've gone down mine you're going I want this I don't know where it is you can place it in there and it will find it for you so um, let me show you so let me grab a piece of coal ore um, item stack place coal ore in coal ore save so it's now fa it says oh I am now looking for the coal ore Okay, so if we go back and we click start, it has found 327 coal ore, and look, it started mining it, there you go, and um, if we, so you can see at the moment it's not actually output into the chest, so let's turn on auto eject, like that. Um, let's turn on auto pull, because I'm not entirely sure what it does, but, um, I've, oh no, um, <laughs> me being an idiot, because I'm using uh, build craft pipes, I need a wooden pipe with um, engine. Uh, where is it? Redstone engine. And, uh, redstone torch. There we go. So it's now output in the coal. So um, you can also use other things. It's just my dirt for doing that. So. Let's stop that and let's reset it. Let's go back to configure. Now let's say we want to widen what it looks for, but I want it, uh, rather than having to mine it myself, I know what it's called, but I'm not entirely sure I haven't got any yet. So let's say I want to look for anything gold. So anything that is gold, if I just put that like that, it's not going to find anything. So what you need to do is you type in gold, and then the little star, no, that's golf, star, Tick. Go. So it will look for anything gold. Oh, it's actually disappeared. So we need to find gold star. Like that. And let's go back. So it's around 308, 307, 362. No, that hasn't worked. Why is that not? Config. Okay, is it gold the other way around? So star gold. Okay, all I know is or star works. So, uh, oh yeah, sorry. If you wanted to find anything that's gold or gold, this can be quite conf uh, quite confusing because spacebar doesn't work. So, easiest way is type in or star or star there we go save and it'll look for anything star now we can actually get rid of this so let's go star so it's found 1782 things um, that are labelled as or so now uh, we can see those going past but it's not quick enough so let's go to the mechanism uh, folder and we can see what the upgrades do so we can see here we've got speed upgrade and we've got energy upgrade let's grab some of these so, let's add some speed into here, and what you do is you place those on the top right. So I'm quickly showing you how you make these. These are two enriched alloys, one osmium dust, and two glass to make one speed. And for the energy, it's two enriched alloys, one gold powder, and two glass. So nice and simple. So you can see now I sped it up. It's using a lot more um, RF per tick. You can see here it's now using 8,000 RF per tick. But that's fine because we've got... Um, we've got a lot of um, power because we're using creative energy cells. You can see it's found one diamond, it's found some gold, it's found some lapis, found some redstone, found some uranium, found some osmium, found some sulfur, found some more sulfur. So it's found loads of stuff, found tons of di diamonds, which is always good. So, really good. Finding tons of stuff. And it's going to sit there and churn through. So this, you can see that this is a lot easier way of finding stuff rather than mining it yourself. But it's very in-game. And personally, I see it's very cheaty but um, because you don't have to do anything to get anything. 
Um, so you just set one of these up, and once it's mined everything in that chunk, it's all gone, so there's nothing else to do. So you have to move it somewhere else and grab some more stuff. But, yeah, so it's nice and fun. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it from this tutorial. Uh, sorry there's been a couple of weird things happening in this tutorial. Uh, please head to the comment section below to see, uh, to comment about things what I might have missed. Um, but yeah, so, um, also head to our website, bluecoconutfamily.co.uk, um, sign up for an account, because that allow, um, you to get email notifications when the next video is going out. Hit that subscribe button so it knows that, um, i that you're enjoying what I'm doing. And I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. So, from myself, Scotty, and the rest of Blue Coconut Family, I wish you a very good day, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.